morning. I'm just having, I've just watched Lex and Carla. Just having my cup of tea and then I've had a banana and I'm also having this, which is, looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Um, it's about an inch or so of milk in my Nutribullet and a tablespoon of this, which Phil's bought for me. I was feeling really, really bloated and like painfully so. I thought, gotta look about five months pregnant. And um, he's bought me this, it's in Spirico, love thy gut. So it comes out feeling a bit like a, a milkshakey. If you had full fat milk, it'd probably be nice. Um, and it's slightly purpley, so it's slightly off-putting to me, but I, uh, it's got a little bit of a slightly fruity, slightly malty flavour. So some people can just down anything, can't, can't they? I have um, difficulty sometimes having stuff, but I can have this which I was pleasantly surprised at. So I have one a day. Um, so I'm just going to down that while it's still a bit frothy and come back to you. Since I've been having this, the, um, almost immediately within two days, the bloating went down. It wasn't sort of painfully bloated. Don't get me wrong, I've still got my uh, chubby fat around my middle. Uh, my over 60s fat ring. Um, but the, the um, feeling like I'm going to pop uh, had gone. And normally in the morning, I won't go too much into detail for you, but normally in the morning, because it's like an IBS thing, I'd have vile stomach cake. Uh, and I've not had it at all since I've been having this. So don't know whether it would work for you or, or what it has done for me. Um, it's barley, grass, goji berry, flax. Seed, blueberry, acre, acre, acai berry, uh, inulin, maca, aronia, and but I, but I can't even I can't even read that. Anyway, that's what it's got in it. And uh, it's supposed to help improve bowel function, uh, improves functioning of digestive enzymes. Uh, digestion by production of hydrochloric acid helps maintain maintenance of skin, contributes to improving energy levels, improves collagen formation of healthy skin and nails, contributes to immune function, uh, reduction of tiredness and fatigue. Can't say it's helped with that yet. Um, help with maintenance of healthy hair, nails and skin, which obviously I can't tell yet. But the main thing for me was... Um, my stomach and it certainly improved that. So you, I add it to milk and then it says give it a shake by putting the Nutribullet or a blender. Um, what they said their favourite is to mix it with yoghurt uh, or you could mix it with your favourite smoothie or juice. Uh, I did try putting it in a hot chocolate but then I microwaved the milk and it went a bit like scummy. Uh, so I think it's better in cold stuff. But yeah, I'll find it on Amazon. I can't remember how much she's paid for it. Um, but it's organic prebiotics and superfood blend for women. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Morning. It's 1st of December. I can't say I'm going to do Vlogmas because I don't want to commit to doing every day and then not have anything to say. Um, but I've been busy. Uh, doing over the weekend I decided to do, film lots of little nail snippets so I've decided I'm going to put the nail videos I've just uploaded the first one saying what stuff I've bought and I'm going to upload all the nail videos on my other channel which I've called Sue's Nails <laughs> and it's gonna be me attempting different ways that I've seen online to show everything I've ever learned. I've learned off YouTube, online courses and stuff um, and self-taught through practice. So I'm going to do the same with my nails. So I've still got these on and uh, if you want to show me any support at all, all you ladies, because my demographic's about 80% ladies. Um, oh, big strapping blokes. 
You can if you like. <laughs> Nip over if you want to watch them over there or just to show support. And uh, if you could subscribe. I uh, don't know how many of them you'll like to watch, but if you'd like to subscribe and press the bell, uh, it'll help me in getting that channel going. Um, anyway, I'll turn you around and show you breakfast. So, breakfast. <laughs> I showed you this in this vlog the other day. Uh, this Inspirico, Inspirico, whatever it's called. Anyway, I said it had a bit of a multi flavour and slightly fruity flavour and this, that, and the other. I've come up with a cunning plan. Um, I've been having Actimel to try and help the immune system as well. It's all about my gut and, and trying to make my stomach better. So I decided to tip some one of these in it. Oh, it's lush. So I highly recommend doing that. Uh, just adds that little bit of extra fruit flavour. So it's made it a nice drink now rather than just down in it. But it's still working, so can't promise it would for everybody. But I don't know if you can... That used to be like... Like that. And now... I can actually see my feet. That's good, isn't it? <laughs> and a coffee, of course. And a Carla Jenkins. I mean Carla Jenkins because it's Tuesday waffle. Uh, not because I'm going to eat her on the desert island. It's dinner time already. I've been um, uploading. Look, nails one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've had to do nails one twice because I'm going to put it on my other channel but I have to amend it in some way otherwise you can't put it on two channels. You do learn something new every day so I've got to do some sort of jiggery pokery with it and then I can upload it on the other one. I've had this stuck against my computer all week but to be honest I'm not coming here that much um, to send the galaxy to Jill so that's finally done and going. So, thanks for being patient, sweetie. Uh, didn't send your prize off very quick, did I? And uh, I must have a tidy look. Oh, yep. When I got two parcels and, and Jill's going out today, so it won't take me long. Oh, yeah. Right, cracking on. Just been to parcel shop. So, I've just come back from parcel shop and... Uh, we did the front of the house. I've always wanted trees outside, so we bought these from uh, Dunelm, I think. They're pathetic. <laughs> they've got, they've got um, battery-powered lights on, which are uh, a bit like a couple of glowworms. Uh, and my trusty old wreath that I've had for several years. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Oh, say hello. Just opened my first Christmas card. Thank you, Becca. <laughs> Ninja bread man. <laughs> Super cute. I went out yesterday. I was um, didn't vlog really, but I went out to the charity shop, bought some wrapping paper, and I bought uh, this fellow from the Lion King. Who? Oh, I won't take him. I won't turn him on. He makes noises, and. Um, I also bought stuff. Right, with Radio Hallam, I've always said about instead of buying cards, I buy toys for Mission Christmas. Well, it used to be called Help Hallam Child, it's now Mission Christmas because it's going to be uh, for children all across the UK who won't get anything at Christmas. And um, Usually, even when it were just in Yorkshire and around here, they, they had massive, massive amounts donated. But what you have to do is get a gift for anybody, any child from baby to young adult, really. I can't remember if it's 16 or 17. And um, I'll try and remember to put a link underneath the video if anybody wants to contribute at all. Around here, we have drop-off points, but I'll put a, a link for the website and... Um, 
It's just that I, I'll get emotional when I think about kids not having out to open at Christmas. Um, if Christmas is their thing. Um, so, this is what I bought this time. I like to buy quite a few uh, sort of small ones so everybody's getting something. Um, so, they've all got to be new toys. Brand new. And uh, you don't wrap them. Or you can donate money, but I like to drop these off. Our radio Hallam's only down the road from me. Uh, I've got some cars, because who don't like cars? A couple of sets of cars I bought. See, they're unwrapped so they know what age group they are and then they can distribute them. Art set. Um, I bought... These are all new gifts that they have in Bernardo's. Uh, and then it helps them as well, doesn't it? So uh, I like to buy them from there. So we've got a couple of dinosaurs. So they might bundle some together, you see, for some kids. Uh, I've got a Dia Zoo. It was on their new gifts. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. So that's all I bought, really. Wrapping paper, one thing to sell, and uh, gifts for Mission Christmas. So, if you can spare a little bit, you know, when we think how much we've got under our tree, yeah, it's nice just to. I do it anyway. It's up to you. Uh, I've been busy today doing uh, a banner. I've made this banner for my uh, channel. It'll be Sue's Nails. No subscribers yet. I haven't even uploaded anything yet. Look, upload a video to get started. I've got about 10 ink pipeline. I haven't done any yet, but I don't think it would hurt if you can find the channel. Um, I don't suppose it would come up if you searched yet, but I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you posted when there's stuff on there. Right, 12 o'clock now, so I've got to go and have some dinner and then get on to eBay this afternoon. I'll show you what I'm doing in here. Da, da, da. Still dark because I thought I was going to go to bed so I haven't even opened the curtains yet. Uh, I set my alarm to go to bed for an hour because I was shattered and uh, ended up sitting down to upload Christmas trees video and then carried on doing that. So this, I've sorted through this yesterday. I was finding out all these toys... Uh, we've got Chase, and he's got his backpack bits. Um, rubble. Um, no, that's not Zuma. That one's Zuma. That one's uh, escapes me a minute. Uh, and Marshall. And these guys, you see, you change your backpack, there's different things. Psh, don't know what it does with it. Um, and with this one, I'm going to put Zuma's, uh, very expensive, this thing. I'm going to put Zuma's uh, vehicle. Um, I've got Marshall's fire engine. I've got this, unfortunately, it's got some stickers missing, but... That's what it is, I'm afraid. And uh, this is Sky's helicopter, which would go in there. Uh, and they all go in these launch pads. Yeah, that, I think that's too big a version to go in there, but will it fit in? Sorry for definitely there. Well, it'll fit, not too bad. Uh, yeah, so I've not got the green one for him. Um, and then I've got a small control tower. It's not got the thingy bob on the top, uh, but it has got fire engine and a, a few figures with it. So I'll probably put that separate, just a little bundle. I don't mind posting that one, but this one. Um, right, I have got the box for it, but I can't get back in the box because it's adult assembly required and it takes some doing apparently. So I'm going to do it as collection only. So I would get a lot more money if I were going to post it. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And uh, right, food. 
not coming on camera because I've done a bloody thing with my hair today. Look, one subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, jewellery sells. Thank you very much, dear. <laughs> it's early days. Two videos, one subscriber. There you go. Um, right, I'm off in the loft. Right. I have listed these. I've got to get this lot in the loft. Uh, and I'll show you what it's like up there. And that, that's listed. Oh. Because we've been in the uh, little loft, which is hiding at the back. Come on, light. Right, there's a hatch door there, look. And all under the slope of the roof was all the Christmas trees and stuff. Oh, I've been dreading coming up here today. It's blooming freezing. We've had us first snow. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, Batman smells, as we used to sing. Um, yeah, look, I can't get in. I've got no room here. I can't get in. We've got Christmas presents here. I've got bubble wrap here. Uh, bags of packaging. Everybody's giving me their Amazon boxes, which are great. But I keep just shoving them up here. And... Uh, Toy boxes, when they put them together, they're sending me them, which are great for cardboard for wrapping around pictures and stuff. But look, I just can't bring anything up. That box has got to go back in there, but I've got to shift this lot every time, so I need to come up with a better plan. I might end up having to put cardboard back at this side, because obviously we're going to put these boxes away, and then in another few weeks we'll be having them back out again, but... But this, I have got space to faff about down here. I mean, most of them jewellery lots have gone. Um, that early learning centre I listed, there's not much of that left on there. So, yeah. Yeah, I need to... Oh, I couldn't get a better... In fact, I might even put my coat on and come back up. Right. I'll come and show it you when it's finished. Right, nearly sorted. So I've got all that space there. We delivered Christmas presents, put the Christmas tree boxes in the loft. Uh, so I'm not at risk of falling over stuff. I've got all my little boxes. Some are still made up and some are broken down. Bigger boxes there. This is like packaging bubbles and stuff. More packaging on here. I've still got to find somewhere for these because I keep moving these around. We were meant to come back up and do it, but we didn't get around to it. So that's that. Um, I've thrown all the bubble wraps over there or on the top of... Can you see it? Yeah, on the top of there or on the top of there. <laughs> I've got my boxes in from eBay. Uh, and then I've condensed these shelves down a bit. That, at the back there in the bubble wrap, is a huge bird ornament, which I've got to post tomorrow. Oh, man. I'm not hopeful that'll get there in one piece, but my packaging is uh, usually bomb-proof, but you never know. You never know, but we're going to give it a go. So I'm not bringing it down until then, because I'll smash it. I need to make sure everything's clean and tidy to start packaging that. So I've got boxes up at that end. Still got a bit more condensing to do, but uh, at least I've managed to clear everything from the top of these stairs. So, yeah, that's much better. I can walk straight across here. Yeah. You see, the thing is, when I hoist stuff up and down... And I hoist stuff up and down. I can put my hand around handles and just lower the hoist a bit more, and then it can't, I can slide it across so it's on there. I'm not leaning over to take it off. That's the thing. I think this is one of the boxes that's going to take the big bird ornament. But yeah, we'll be double boxing that, I think. Right, I've got to go and get this uploaded now. 
just about to do you a little um little bit of a, a jewelry lot to go on to the end of this uh, and then and we'll call it a day i think peeps i thought i'd bring you a haul uh one lot from the auction lot that i bought last week and uh, we'll start with this apparently i'm a relayer bag <laughs> and uh in here this is lot 88 and for this for this lot i paid for a mixed lot of assorted costume jewellery, including vintage yellow necklace, matching clip earrings, bangles, blah, blah, blah. All contained in jewellery box. 22 plus commission, so £28.69. £28.59. So I'll get it out and we'll have a look. There's uh, this. Oh, beautiful colour. It's more purple than it looks on there, but that's a fantastic old case. Uh, and then this, look. Oh. oh, sorry, probably. Right, so there's that little case, and then this big case, which, as you can see, this is that lot, and um, oh, I can't do it with these nails on. <laughs> Oh. By the way, if you've subscribed to my new channel, and uh, I'm going to map the journey of me learning to do my own nails, so thank you to anybody that's already subscribed, you're an absolute star. Um, I think I'm on about seven, so it'll just take some doing, won't it? But there you go, I'm doing it to track it really, it'll give me a laugh later watching back what I'm doing. So, I'll have a look and see. I might get my tray out and tip everything out so I'm not uh, not wobbling so much. Where's the front? This is an old case anyway. It's quite a solid old case. With the drawers. I wonder if there's anything in the drawer. Ooh, bits and bobs. Right, we'll start with this one and then... Uh, We'll move on to that. Right, so this is the vintage necklace and earrings. Somebody's put it in this box. There's no, no name on this box, I don't think. No. It's gold and silver tone. Isn't that funny? Where's the... Ah, right, so silver tone must have worn off them, has it? It's a bit strange, isn't it? Hmm, probably won't matter if you've got long hair around the back of your neck. Um, that covers the back of your neck, should I say. So, that's the earrings. Pretty. Ah, coral craft or jewel craft coro anyway uh, with that tag yeah that's pretty Have you got them all it's got all its stones so i think we should be well on the way to getting the money back off that set uh, there's some other bits and bobs in here right i'll just Don't shoot with them up there, mate. That's that. We've got a little... What could you want more than a locket that says mother? That don't actually... Don't actually clip short. It slides apart. Uh, no. And then it's silver on it. I'll put this light on. Oh, if you plug a minute out, hang on. I wonder it 
Pink Kamala. <sighs> oh. Not, not working now. Why ain't I working? Oh, don't tell me that's not working. <sighs> Try that. Oh. Bloody hate it when things don't work. Right, sorry, I can't put light on. You'll have to take it as colour it is. Um, little metal puppies. They can go in a lot. I'll get rid of mother. This looks like a silver chain. And it says something on it. And it says Indy. Uh, twined hearts. It looks like silver, but I can't. It doesn't say 925 on there, and it's lost its um, clasp. So I'll test it and see whether it's going to go in my scrap bit. I'll see what's in this drawer first. Right, so we've got a lovely stone um, glass. It's crystal of some sort. I'll have to look that up. I'll have to look up what, what stone that is. It's very pretty. It's got some iridescence inside it as well. Cold. Oh, I wish I'd got this light working. Right, I'll see if I can get it working. Hang on. Right, it was me. I didn't have it pushed in far enough. So I'll show you that again. Uh, what's this? That looks like silver around the edge. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? To help if it were in shot. That's pretty. Come off. And filigree, filigree butterfly. I don't know if that's, um, let's have a look, see if it says anything. No, it's just from the manufacturing. Uh, don't, don't see anything on there. God, I want to have to cut a few bits out of this because you're not in shot. Um, that's pretty. I've only got the one of them, like. The, the obligatory china flowers. Got some sparkle. So these are all odd. Chuck these all into my odd earrings thing. I mean, like things like that can go on pendants, can't they? Like that. Yeah. All odd earrings apart from the pendant, which I've put to one side. Right. Let's have a look. Real fur 
Real Fur 50s AB and some other sort of red stone. Wow. <laughs> Clip on this. like a chain belt. Medallion on it, that'll be lovely. Hmm. Maria Teresa. Tyro, seventeen sixty, beautiful. And it's got some uh, rare on that look. Oh, hey, that takes me back. Had earrings come off. What's this? Silver. A silver something. Tied up. Anyway, what have we all been up to? Are we all ready for Christmas? The last one I put up was putting my trees up. Um, I've been trying to get that other channel sorted out. Um, and I've actually done a header for it. It's my new obsession, you see. I think what I'm going to have to do is to sort these and then come back and show you what I find out of it because. Otherwise, well that, yeah, 925. Uh, otherwise, it's going to be about an hour long. So I'll do some play sorting through it and I'll come back and show you what I found. Right, I've gone through it all. I've had my tea. I've watched Strictly. And uh, I've watched Carla from this morning. It is Sunday, by the way. Uh, Carla from this morning. Uh, I've got some labels ready for bags to put stuff in so it will be another broken uh, that's not stuck very well isn't it god these labels are sticky uh, there'll be another broken lot so in there so far uh, we've got some beads we've got these which are lovely um, glass beads uh, of some sort very, very cold they are, if they are glass, I don't know, but they're, they're really nice and heavy and they've got a lovely clasp, uh, but it's broken, so I'll let somebody else do something with those. Uh, no, I'll have a cup of tea, please. Okay. Uh, don't want tea and toast. Uh, these are beautiful, these. These have inspired me for um, colours for some like ombre nails, these. I must buy all these colours in nail polish. Gel polish. Yeah. I'll shut up about it. Um, these are um, graduated pearls. Lovely. Lovely necklace, this, but it's lost its clasp. So, I'm saying lovely. It would be from the old sort of out. There you go. Um, these, that's got some wear on that, but somebody might be able to use the chain for something. They're just plastic, I'm not even going to bother putting them in. These are nice um, beads for somebody to use in earrings or something. Uh, it's the sort that clips on your dress, you know, under your collar. So you could probably use that. Um, this is going in. This is pretty. This is very, very pretty. But it's lost. It's stretched. Do you know what I mean? It don't look right. It needs re-threading. So I'll let somebody else do that. But all the beads are nice. I think it's what they used to call rock crystal. 
Um, I doubt very much whether they'd have pearls that go into them. And it's not named or anything, so I don't think I'm even putting that in. Um, or that, because I've no idea what's, what I could do with that. Um, that's a nice nice green they could use and put a better chain on I suppose um, now this I'll show you this I got one of these hematite things in here so um, it's got magnet fasteners and it's not magnetic but there's no marks on it I want to see if it cleans up but to be honest, it's the smallest thing I've ever seen, whether it's designed for a baby. Look at that. Look how tiny that is. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll have a better look at it anyway. I'll put it over there. I've found some silver bits in this. Um, I'm going to take you off the stand, hang on. Clip. There we go. Right, so I've got that chain belt, so... Somebody might be able to use all those links for something. Um, I'm going to do another bag that's... Uh, stuff that's okay if you wanted to split them up, make bundles or resell. Uh, chains and things so there's a colour there and that um, that one didn't break me lot there's all these chains here which are not actually broken but I'm going to put them in the uh, broken lot anyway because people might use them you know if they used odd earrings to make pendants or something, they might come in handy, so I'll put them in there for me crafting, crafting lot, um, and some pretty, pretty beads, they're quite heavy those, artificial, so I'll put them in there, you can resell if you want to, um, Be good for harvesting. That's a pretty little pendant if you want to make a bundle. Um, so don't bother with that. Now this one's interesting because uh, it looks like a blue topaz colour. Um, it's not magnetic but it's got no markings on. But it does look like silver so I'm going to test that one. Uh, this is a pretty Pretty necklace that can go in that lot. Um, now this one I'm going to keep and sell. This is uh, the AB crystal, um, and it's got some lovely AB stones on the back. And they're all there, so that's that's really pretty. I'm going to keep that one. Um, that one can just go in the resell if you want to. Uh, this one again, a full pearl, nice clasp. I've got enough pearls, so I'm going to put that in the. Uh, so this is the lot that's building that you could resell. Um, and again, this one. This is um, not real stones of any sort but it's it's quite a pretty vintage uh, necklace so if anybody's doing dress up or anything like that it'd probably be quite good I've got uh, I'll have a watch lot going somewhere I've got an expandable strap that somebody buying a watch that I'd probably use there's a vintage Swiss watch there that's lost all its plating 
but somebody might use it in it, I suppose. Um, another chain. I'm not going to do anything with, but somebody might use that. Uh, a pin from uh, what's it, sir? So optimist international. What's a Sir Optimist? I need to look that up. Bear with. Well, who knew? It's uh, international uh, worldwide volunteers for women who work for peace and in particular to improve the lives of women and girls. Well done. Lovely. I'm glad I know now, but I'll probably have forgotten again tomorrow. <laughs> That's that. Uh, I've got another pin. Uh, got a lovely little brooch. Marker seat brooch. I'm going round right on the side of the light. Hang on. Right, so I've got this that looked like it's supposed to be a pair of earrings, but it's the rod stones. So, um, that's odd. They were all the odd ones, so I've got that pair, that pair, and um, that one's silver. I'll have a closer look at all these, but that's really nice. It's a pity there isn't two of those. No, no, definitely only one. Got a really nice pattern on it. Hmm. Uh, so that's. Oh, hang on. Have I got a pair? Oh, I have. I've got a pair. Put them there. And there we're a pair. Silver. Oh, I've got all these, which are uh, just broken jewellery, really. Put them in that lot. Um, this one I really like. got to look it up it's like a quartz um is there it's like a strawberry color is there such a thing as a strawberry quartz ah. bear with right i knew about rose quartz but it seemed a bit dark for that and there is such a thing as a strawberry quartz but that's a, not a very pleasant color as far as I'm concerned, but I think this one is nearer to this look. It's cherry quartz, isn't it? Can't see the light on that now. But I think that's nearer to cherry quartz. Yeah. Don't you just love being able to Google? Oh, red strawberry. Yeah, right, I think. I think the cherry quartz. Yeah, nice. Um, and then chains, right, hold these earrings. No. Um, this chain turned out to be silver. So the chain and the cross uh, are both marked as 925. 
um, that one I'm going to test. Right, this one's not magnetic, looks like silver, but it's not marked as silver. So I'm going to test that one. Uh, that, ow, what have I just knelt on? Um, that earring that I found that is silver, I found another one. <laughs> so they would actually go quite well with that cross. So, pity they're not crosses though, isn't it? That was, I don't suppose you want them all over. Uh, so, a pair of silver earrings, silver necklace, cherry quartz. Well, I've got my money back already, haven't I? Um, oh, I've got the furry earrings. Uh, another silver chain that's got this awful um, heart on it. So, if I could swap that for something else, that chain will be handy. Um, another silver chain. Nine to five marked chain. Um, I've got. Oh, I'll move. I've got these bits, not particularly that one, but these two that I want to test for gold. Um, I'll check them out a bit further. But this one is marked. No, this one. Oh God, I forgot now which one. This one. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Right, this one's marked 375. So this is a nine carat gold chain, 18 inch. And then these I've got to test. This one's got something on it. It's got a really old clasp, this. Uh, what does it say? Money, gold plated. That says money. And this, I don't know. I've got to test that. So I've got that. Got the little earrings, and then I've got this. Oh, I've got this other silver one here. Look. Yeah. That one's marked as silver. I'll clean it and see. It's a funny. It's got some normal discoloration, but I'll test it as well. I always do, even if they're marked as silver. And then this lot, which I've checked through to make sure there's no more little gold chains. Um, but I've had enough of this. Lot. I really can't be able to sort any more of these. So these, these are all going. Um, Oh, I'm not forgetting, not forgetting that one. So, I've done all right. Gold necklace, a few silver pieces. So one, two, three, four silver chains, gold chain, and these bits. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right. Thank you all for watching. Love you loads. Take care. Bye.